I'm Sammy Vasquez Jr. This might be the beginning of the end. The Who Can Mexican. As always, he's sensational. He's a big time fighter now. I fight for my family. I fight for my brothers and sisters in arms. And I fight for Pittsburgh. This is my rise to becoming a champion. I grew up in Manesson, Manesson, Pennsylvania. It's my hometown. I ended up joining the PA National Guard, uh, deploying twice to Iraq. I was really into being in the military. It was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had because they instill so many Army values. I trained at Fort Carson, Colorado. The environment here is amazing. Rock off of that. Sammy's approach to the ring is a lot different because he's still a soldier at heart. Being in this atmosphere makes you push yourself harder and you train harder. And he wants everybody to know where he come from and where he's going. The sky's the limit for him. Well, you know, it's a sport. It's certainly nothing like doing two tours in Iraq <laughs> and the things that he's seen over there. But he, he fought, you know, during his tour and uh, he learned a lot of great lessons. You know, he's 20 years old, but the value of what he did for this country, delaying his professional career, is certainly honorable and uh, worth mentioning. And a lot of people in this area are certainly pulling for him. He's at 16 pro fights, 12 night knockouts. Trains at altitude out in Colorado Springs, so he comes back here to fight in front of the hometown fans. Take a look at the tail of the tape, Raul Marquez. It was, yeah, weight the same. Pretty much everything is the same. One age difference for uh, Sammy Hukan Vasquez. The height, 5'10", 5'9", for Mosquera. Pretty evenly match. Fight for the tail of the tape. Now let's take a look at the rules. We'll be fighting under the unified rules here in Pittsburgh tonight. No standing eight count. Three knockdown rule is not in effect. Only the referee can stop the fight. Cannot be saved by the bell in the last round. You're looking read side at the console. Tina DePaulo and Philip Adler. Your referee in charge of the action, Gary Rosado. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks. He weighed in at 146 pounds. His professional record, 21 wins, one loss, two draws, 14 wins by way of knockout. Elio de Panama City, Panama. Here is Alberto, the machine gun, Mosquera. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing a red, white, and blue. He weighed in at 146 and three quarter pounds. As an amateur, a former two-time All-Army, All-Armed Forces champion, and currently serving in the Pennsylvania National Guard. As a professional, he is undefeated. 16 wins, no losses, 12 wins by way of knockout. From Monesson, Pennsylvania, here is the reigning USBA welterweight champion, the sensational Who Can Mexican Sammy Vasquez Jr. Instructions for Gary Rosado, your referee for this 10-round welterweight fight. 
You get a sense of the popularity of, of Vasquez. Let's see if he can back up all that adulation by taking out Alberto Mosquera here tonight. And there's the opening bell, first round. Vasquez in the red, white, and blue. Mosquera in the red trunks with a white trim. Mosquera coming up, two southpaws. Talking about that in training, I mean, you know, you talk about the righty lefties, but lefty, whoa, downstairs, upstairs from Vasquez before I could get my point out. Left handers don't see many left handers either. Yeah, Vasquez needs to take his time and just fight. Very composed. There's no rush here. Got 10 rounds. Let Mosqueda come at him. He will be coming. Part of the great story here in Pittsburgh is for Vasquez, it's a family affair. His father is like a FedEx delivery man. You order the tickets, he gets them to you overnight, personally. <laughs> so they sold about $70,000 worth of tickets just and for tonight. It shows he's, he's got a big name here in his hometown, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Well, it's a lime cut. Long climb in the welterweight division. There's so many great names out there. We could spend a minute or two just naming all of them. But Sammy looking sharp here, throwing a jab. Followed up with the right hand. Definitely out style pointing Muscare at this point. He hasn't quite figured out what he's in against at this point. Bask is very relaxed in there. He just let his punches fall. Oh. Straight right hand. Oh. And he drops him in the middle of the right hand. Wow. Mascara completely overwhelmed right there on two right hands from two different angles. Let's see if he could finish him. He's got to jump on him and take advantage. Look at him. I think he will. Here oh. he goes. Mascara. He's still up and throwing. Mosquera very wild. And Vasquez going down the middle with his short shots. Oh, he just got him. Oh. But he goes down on a body shot. Oh, he wants no more. Oh, he went oh down the body, body shot. shot. That's it. That's it. You them, can tell. Them, yeah, them body shots, they're, they're paralyzing. Yeah, they paralyze the whole body. He can't breathe. It's over. It's over. Easy knife for him. Who can? Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Who can? Mexican. Mascara tried to gamely come back and throw and landed a shot, but the price he paid was a vicious shot, and those body shots can scare it, it, tough. It was a delayed reaction, yes. the body shot. It, it, we're going to see right now on the re replay how it, it was delayed. It's like, wait a minute, did, did I feel the pain? Wait, I feel the pain. <laughs> Paralyzed, paralyzing, but body shots are, to me, they're worse than headshots. You've seen it many, many times. It's like you get hit by an electrical current and you're stunned by it at start, and then you go, oh wait, there goes my legs and there goes my breath. So it was a short fight where we have a lot of action coming in. Here comes the first knockout, first knockdown. Here we go. Flash knockout. Look at that. Check hook. You saw the hook? The right hook. There yeah. we go. Instead of jamming, he turned into a right hook. Put Mosqueda down. Yeah, he's still on the stool over there, Mosquera. And Sammy Vasquez goes around the ring. We're not real sure. He, he might have hurt himself in some way. They got ice up on his shoulder. Either way, he came, came a long way, not to last very long. 
Tell you what, that was an explosive win. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Console Energy Center in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, your referee in charge, Gary Rosado, reaches the count of 10 at 2 minutes, 35 seconds of the very first round. Your winner by knockout, still undefeated, and the new WBC Beckerbox welterweight champion, the sensational, who can Mexican Sammy Vasquez Jr. Well, okay, we. <laughs> it took him longer to get into the ring on the Humvee than it took to to take care of business tonight. When we come back. The champ is in the ring with the young up and coming star. We are back at Pittsburgh after Sammy Vasquez, the local hero, just took care of business very shortly in round number one with a knockout of Averco Mosquera. Standing by up in the ring to talk to Sammy. It's uh, Steve Kim. Steve, take it away. Let us know when we're good. I don't know. I have no mic. Steve can't hear me, but I can. I'll, All right, I'll, Steve I'll Kim. Cue him right now. Here with there. Be that quick. Uh, I was giving him four a little rounds. bit of an audio problem right so now. I gave him four rounds. Uh, I didn't think it would be the so, first round, you know, but we, while we're you doing know, I that. came out with some bad intentions, so. Mike, <laughs> I know you were thrilled with the performance. You know, he, he was wonderful. You know, the only thing that's so interesting about him, when he every time he knocks the guy down, it's always he's relaxed, calm, and sharp. But as soon as he hurt the guy, he goes crazy. He should just stay away, stay sharp, boom, and it always finished. You got to knock him out. When he hit him with the body shot, he got hit, boom, but he hit the guy with such ferocious body shot that visitated him. He just went down. Sammy, you're now 17 and zero, your 13th stoppage. Where do you see yourself in the welterweight division currently? Uh, currently, you know, I mean, I mean, with the top. I mean, you know, that's, I mean, that's what we have to do. That's what we're uh, building for, you know? So, um, you know, I mean, sooner or later, I believe, you know, by next year, uh, maybe mid or the end of the year, I mean, I'll be, I'll be fighting for a world title for sure. Mike, you're one of the decision makers here. Where do you think he goes right now? Hey, listen, I want him to continue to fight. Um, the competition that he's been fighting. You know, I thought this guy would be better than the other guy, but you know, this, the other guy that he fought was such a, um, man, it was a great fight. I thought it was gonna be, this guy was gonna be another, but man, he took him out one round, he keeps improving, what the hell? I never had no anticipation it was gonna be this quick. I, I'm, I'm inspired by you though. I mean, that's why I do it. The, for, for the first round knockouts, you know, it's for you. They're good, but you know, give us a little entertainment too. <laughs> that goes to a thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. I like you, I mean, thank you, right? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Sammy, going back to this fight with El this conference, is there, were you, was there any extra motivation in stopping him so quickly? Um, I mean, there was motivation to stop him, you know, I mean, I mean, you got to have a game plan. I, I wanted to stay to my game plan. I wanted to box him. I knew he was going to end up coming forward, and, and um, you know, but I wanted to see how he would react to when I hit him, you know, because that, that changes a lot of people's uh, momentum in a fight, you know, and then he started to go back a little bit, and, uh, and he had a lot of openings, you know, so I wanted to take advantage of that, and that's what I did. Did the body shot just come naturally? Yeah, it, it's, a, it's, it's repetitive, you know what I mean? We, we work on the mitts, me and Coach Lev, Bob, um, you know, and Remy, my coach Rim, uh, we work on the mitts constantly, man. It's just it's repetitive and it's just automatic, you know, second nature. Mike, Pittsburgh seemed to have come out, responded to this event. When can we see this again? Hey, listen, we're going to try to make him as active as possible. He's a really consummate professional. I'm really proud of him. The whole Pittsburgh should be proud of him. And um, continue to get him fight um, every every six to eight weeks. Man, um, within the end of the year, next year, he'd be fighting the top fighters, if not just for the championship. Okay, Sammy, congratulations. Yes. Uh, you know, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to all the veterans. Um, you know, I'm, I'm honored to, uh, you know, this one was for you guys. Also, Team Kennedy, make sure we go and support uh, Kennedy, you know, with, with uh, her heart transplant, you know, and, and, and all that. So, now that, definitely that's what I'm looking for, Team Kennedy and the VA uh, veterans. And that's the Who Can Mexican comes out victorious, first round knockout. The sensational Who Can Mexican. <laughs> yeah. And we'll be back after these messages.
We're back in Pittsburgh. It was a short night for Sandy Vasquez Jr. I would like to see him go a little bit longer, but this is pretty much the stats we got out of it, Raul. Yeah, I mean, uh, he landed 31 punches. Obviously, it showed 70 punches thrown 44%, and we showed what happened. He made he made him wait for a long time, but he sure got out of them, got him out of there quick. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, then what it boils down to is out of those 31, three knocked him down and out. <laughs> That's what that boils down to. So, you know, in terms of Sammy Vasquez, we're going to have to move him up a little bit of competition, and... Uh, We'll be talking about that down the road. We'll be right back here for more from Pittsburgh at the Console Energy Center after this. This one. Back here in Pittsburgh, we'd like to get some uh, thoughts tonight on the fight card from uh, Sean O'Grady, Lubin unanimous decision, Salk unanimous decision, and Vasquez didn't break a sweat. Sean, what are your thoughts on what you saw? Well, he didn't break a sweat. You're right, Alan. He didn't break a sweat. But I'm going to tell you something. This is extremely important for this young man. If Vasquez, it's not so much the, the, the play. It's what happened, what he actually did in the fight. Had this been, had he backed off when he saw the opportunity to end this then, it might have been a, become a banal fight, and it might have exposed or shown a bad side of Vasquez. He's very, very good. He was able to close the show. That's extremely important. Think about all those times that, that Mike Tyson fought, and he had a fighter hurt. He stopped it right then. He went after him. He, he, he went in for the, what we call him boxing, he went in for the kill, for the end of the fight right then, and Mike Tyson went in and ended it. And that's what we saw from Vasquez tonight. The, the window of opportunity was open, and he performed. Sammy Vasquez, I think, should be on the radar of a lot of champions, and this is only going to propel his career forward. He, uh, he, he, has, he's going, he too, is going to have an exciting, exciting future in, uh, in boxing. Well, the thing about it, Sean, is he's 28 years old, and he's a, and young in terms of boxing because he's only been doing it two and a half years, but we got to can't forget his experience in the military, and sure. army boxer, and here's a guy that, you know, you want to see move out there and get a chance. If they could step up the competition a little bit at the tight, the likes of, you know, of, a, of a Keith Thurman or, or Kell Brook or, you know, those type of Timothy Bradleys, those guys that, that are out there in this loaded, loaded division. I'm not even talking about the top two guys because they'll be gone by the time he gets there. But you know what I'm talking about. Absolutely. And then you bring him along. He is, and as you, you are absolutely right, he is a hero to our country. He served in the military. He, he loves the United States of America. He is a, a, a good young man. I, I wish him nothing but the best. They say in boxing that athletes usually mature about 28, 29 years old. So I don't think that would be a, a detriment to him. I think he's ready and he's, he should be knocking on the door right now. People should be talking about Sammy Vasquez. Uh, for him to destroy Mosquera in the way that he did, the fashion that he did, Body I mean, shot. It, makes a, it makes a big statement for uh, for his career. I, I totally agree with Sean. You know, it was, it was an explosive win, even though it was quick.